Hi everyone, and welcome to the third part of the Super Simple Guides to the Raynon X Calculator. Today, we're going to be experiencing how to use Rate My Pokemon. If you've seen part one and part two, you should be able to navigate your way through. And if not, please go back and watch them. I'll link them in the description below. They do include how to register, set up your settings, and also add in Pokemon to your Pokemon box. So for today, we're going to click on Rate My Pokemon, and we're going to begin. Now, if you've already uploaded Pokemon to your Pokemon box, you can simply pull it from the box by clicking this button here. It will list every single one that you've entered, either manually or through the screenshot upload. For now, we're going to start analyzing this steel. So once clicked, you'll notice that all the information we previously entered is still there. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be focusing on this bar here and the results calculated below. So you will see this magnifying glass icon around the website. It does indicate that it's the percentile rating option. So let's start with total strength, which is the combined berry and ingredient strength output. Let's scroll down and see how this field performs. So what does any of this mean? The Rate My Pokemon calculator is essentially a way to calculate and rate your Pokemon and how they perform at every key level compared to different subskills, natures, ingredients in the same species. So essentially that means that for every skill that you can potentially collect, the percentile rating is how good it is compared to any other subskills, natures or ingredient combinations. Always remember, the higher the better. As you can see, it starts off at 81 percentile rating, but it slowly scales down to about 21 percent percentile rating as it progresses through its levels. And that will be at 10, 25, 30, 50, and 60. Please note that there will be no data for 70, 80, or 90. At the moment, it does stop at 60 because they're not able to data mine any values from Pokemon Sleep past level 60 because they're not currently in the game. When select button does update that, this will be updated accordingly. If you'd like a bit more information on exactly how the Pokemon sits at each level, you can click on each level bar here. From here you can see that Adamant is the best nature for level 25, with this following combination of subskills and ingredients. You can also see what the worst combinations will be, and what the just okay combinations will be. If we go into level 60, we can see that this feel has really dropped off compared to all other potential combinations of subskills, natures, and ingredients at level 60. So how do we compare this against another Pokemon we have? Well, we can simply have a look at the other Pokemon that I've caught and added to the box, which is a different feel. And this one is actually my main go-to Frosty Boy. So this guy actually outperforms a lot of my Pokemon, even on Torpolo being a Ice Pokemon. And how does that work? Well, I've got a really killer combination of subskills, natures, and ingredients for it. As you can see, it scales up to 95% at level 10 and sits at the top 99 percentile all the way through to level 60. And how does this compare to other Pokemon, like other spheres, with all other combinations? there's only about 1% better. Um, the best one would be adamant with these subskills and ingredients, but mine is sitting really nice. Let's go back to this bar here, and let's next take a look at ingredient count. So if you simply click this button here, it will show you the output of ingredients based on the level ranges. Now, being that this is a berry Pokemon, you can confirm this by actually having a look in the Pokemon Sleep app at the top right corner of the Pokemon's screen in their information. But this Pokemon is essentially focusing entirely on collecting berries and not so much on ingredients. It does have a mid-range ingredient count, but we're not going to focus on that because it's a Berrymon. You can also see the strength of the ingredient combinations that it does get. This will change based on what combination of ingredients you get, like these here but it is simply okay. Again, we're not too worried about ingredients with this one. As for this last field, skill trigger value, we will go into this a lot more deeper in a future video, but 
It essentially calculates how the skill of the Pokemon and its subsequent nature and sub-skills stack up and the trigger rating. Now, trigger rating is still being determined. The percentage of some Pokemon have been entered into the calculator, but it does require further research. So what do we want to do next? We've got one Pokemon that's great, one Pokemon that's not so great, but how do we compare them side by side so we can look at both values at the same time? There is an option here, and you can find that via team and team analysis. This will essentially allow you to add in Pokemon and compare them side by side, and even put them in a full team to see what their output would be for each specific island that you do want to visit. So for example's sake, let's upload the two spiel that I have put in previously. And as you can see, the output for that week will be about 60,000 strength. Being that I haven't filled the team, it's not going to be that great for now, but this is just to show you and compare the output of each Pokemon side by side. These values here we'll go through in a future video, as well as other options on this page. But you can see the general berry rate, ingredient rate, skill trigger percentage, if the data is there. For Sphere, unfortunately, it has not been captured yet. And you can also edit these values if you like, if you've made any mistakes by clicking the edit button there. For today, we're going to leave it there because we will go into this into a lot more detail in future videos. As always, if you do need any help or information, the documentation section is a wealth of good math and information if you're a bit unsure about any of these features on the website. If you do like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for future videos and even drop a comment below if you'd like to see anything discussed in particular. I would also like to give a shout out to the Rain on X creator, Rainon. If you do want to subscribe to his work and get ad-free or premium features, then please visit the links below. You can either subscribe via Discord, GitHub, or even Patreon. And if you do need any help whatsoever, please feel free to drop by the Discord itself. We're always there to help or give advice. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.